Have you ever felt overwhelmed and didn't know what to do? Ever wished you could take a break but felt constrained by your budget? Life can be a whirlwind of responsibilities, deadlines and expectations, which can sometimes leave us feeling drained and stressed out. In these moments, self-care becomes crucial, yet many of us mistakenly believe that self-care is a pricey luxury that we can't afford. Let's debunk this myth together. Self-care isn't about splurging on expensive spa days or luxurious retreats. It's about taking time to nurture your mind, body and soul. And you can do this without breaking the bank. Today, we're going to explore 11 budget-friendly ways to practice self-care. We'll delve into methods that are not only cost-effective, but also simple and enjoyable. From immersing yourself in nature to creating your own home spa, these strategies will help you relax, rejuvenate, and reconnect with yourself without straining your wallet. Stay tuned as we dive into these 11 budget-friendly ways to practice self-care. First, consider nature therapy. This is a way of connecting with the environment around you to improve your mental and physical health. Nature therapy, also known as ecotherapy, is based on the idea that people are part of the web of life and that our psyches are not isolated or separate from our environment. When you immerse yourself in nature, your body often responds with a decrease in blood pressure, heart rate, muscle tension, and the level of stress hormones. It's a simple and effective way of reducing stress and increasing your overall well-being. You don't need to trek to the wilderness to experience nature therapy. You can practice it by taking a walk in your local park, tending to your garden, or simply spending time in your backyard, listening to the birds chirp, feeling the breeze, or watching the sunset. Remember, the best things in life are free, and that includes the beauty of nature. The second way is to create your own home spa. Imagine sinking into a warm bath surrounded by the soft glow of candles, the air filled with the calming scent of lavender. This is no distant dream but a reality you can create right in your own home. Start by setting the mood. Light some candles or use essential oils to fill the space with soothing scents. Then run a warm bath and add some bath salts or oils. These will help to soften and hydrate your skin, leaving it feeling refreshed and rejuvenated. Don't forget about your face. A homemade mask using ingredients like honey and oatmeal can help to cleanse and nourish your skin. Just apply, sit back and relax. Remember the aim is to take some time for yourself, to relax, unwind, and let the stresses of the day melt away. With a bit of creativity, you can enjoy a spa-like experience right in your own home. The third way is to practice healthy eating. A balanced diet is not just great for your body, it's beneficial for your mind too. It's like fuel for your brain, keeping it sharp and focused. Now you might be thinking, but healthy food is so expensive. Well, it doesn't have to be. Here's a tip. Plan your meals ahead. It helps you avoid those last minute takeouts and unhealthy snacks. Plus, it's quite a money saver. Another trick is to buy produce that's in season. They're fresher, tastier and cheaper. And don't shy away from frozen fruits and veggies. They're just as nutritious and often more affordable. Also, consider preparing your meals at home. It's cheaper, you know exactly what's going into your food and it can be quite therapeutic too. So. Let's swap those chips with some crunchy carrots and trade the soda for a refreshing glass of water. Remember, healthy eating doesn't have to be expensive. The fourth way is to get moving. Exercise is not just about building muscles or losing weight. It's a powerful tool for self-care that goes beyond physical benefits. It boosts your mood, reduces stress and improves your overall mental health. When we exercise, our bodies release endorphins, those feel-good hormones that act as natural mood lifters. But you might be thinking, I don't have the budget for a gym membership or fancy equipment. Well, the good news is, you don't need them to stay active. There are so many budget-friendly ways to exercise. Yoga, for instance, only requires a mat and some free online tutorials. Running only needs a good pair of shoes and a path. And there are countless free online workout videos available for any fitness level. So there you have it. Exercise is an affordable, effective way to practice self-care. So get moving. And remember, you don't need a gym membership to stay active. Now let's dive into the remaining ways to practice self-care on a budget. The fifth way to practice self-care is through mindful meditation. This practice involves focusing your mind on the present moment, acknowledging and accepting your feelings, thoughts, and bodily sensations. 
Benefits of mindful meditation include reduced stress, improved focus, and increased emotional well-being. And the best part? It's absolutely free. All you need is a quiet space and a few minutes of your day. Simply sit comfortably, close your eyes, and focus on your breath. Let your thoughts come and go without judgment, anchoring yourself in the present moment. The next way is journaling, a fantastic tool for self-reflection and emotional release. Journaling allows us to make sense of our thoughts and feelings, leading to increased self-awareness and emotional well-being. It's as simple as writing down your thoughts and feelings, and it doesn't have to cost you a penny. You can use any piece of paper or a digital platform like a blog or a notes app on your phone. The seventh way to practice self-care on a budget is reading. Reading not only provides entertainment and knowledge, but also has numerous mental health benefits. It can reduce stress, improve memory and focus, and even enhance empathy. Whether you borrow books from the library, swap with friends, or download free eBooks online, reading is a cost-effective way to practice self-care. Next up is decluttering. This isn't just about creating a tidy space. It's about creating a peaceful and stress-free environment. Research shows that clutter can increase feelings of stress and anxiety, while a clean and organized space can boost productivity and well-being. And guess what? It doesn't cost you a thing. Start by decluttering one area at a time and donating, selling or recycling items you no longer need or use. The ninth way to practice self-care is by getting enough sleep. Sleep plays a crucial role in physical health, mental health and overall quality of life. It can enhance your mood, reduce stress, improve memory and even boost your immune system. And it's free. Aim for seven to nine hours of sleep per night. Create a sleep-friendly environment by keeping your room dark, quiet and cool and establish a regular sleep schedule. Maintaining social connections is our 10th way to practice self-care. Humans are social creatures and strong social connections can improve our mental and physical health. It's about quality, not quantity. It could be a phone call to a loved one, a coffee date with a friend, or even joining a local club or group. Many of these options are free or low cost, making social connections a budget-friendly self-care practice. Lastly, let's talk about learning something new. Learning stimulates our brains, boosts our self-confidence, and provides a sense of achievement. It could be as simple as learning a new recipe, picking up a new hobby, or taking a free online course. With countless resources available on the internet, learning something new has never been more accessible or budget-friendly. And there you have it, 11 budget-friendly ways to practice self-care. So, there you have it, 11 budget-friendly ways to practice self-care. From immersing yourself in the tranquility of nature, to creating your own home spa, there's a myriad of ways to rejuvenate and recharge. You can nourish your body with healthy eating or strengthen it through regular exercise. The other ways we discussed could also be great additions to your self-care routine, each one catering to different aspects of your well-being. These practices are not just about pampering yourself, they're about cultivating a lifestyle that values self-care. Remember, your well-being is not a commodity to be compromised due to budget constraints. It's your right, and it's within your reach. Self-care is about nurturing your body, mind and spirit, and it's a journey that you embark on for yourself. You are deserving of this care, and it's okay to prioritize your needs. Remember, self-care is not a luxury, but a necessity, and it doesn't have to break the bank, so go ahead, choose a way that resonates with you, and start practicing self-care today.